Great. Well, thank you for sharing. And, uh, you know, one of the things you mentioned is you've described yourself as a gig economy worker. And yes. it was interesting because when the pandemic started, you know, the first the government and the federal government announced an expanded EI. And there were all kinds of people who fell through the cracks, particularly gig economy workers. So then they came in to their credit with the CERB. Uh, but then we found out there was a whole bunch of people who fell through those cracks. So then they expanded and shifted that. And there were still people falling through the cracks. And by the way, people on ODSP and Ontario Works and Ontario are still falling through the cracks because if they are, if they do qualify for the CERB, the provincial government's clawing back uh, those benefits like they do um, work when you work. Uh, so that's still a big issue, a, 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 an important segment of our population still falling through the cracks. And as Josephine said, it would have been so much easier if we just had the program in place. And so I'm just wondering, as we think about recovering uh, from the pandemic, um, what a permanent basic income would do for gig workers and people who work in the gig economy. Right. Like, like it's, it's crazy. Um, I thought about the same thing too. Um, like seeing the CERB roll out and, and also sort of seeing like um, when it first rolled out about 800,000 people were falling through the cracks. And there were stories that I was getting because um, I actually started a new campaign. Um, it's just called like CERB won't help me. Um, and it's a hashtag and people have been sending me photos and they're holding signs saying how they're falling through the cracks. So like there's some people who've emailed me and there's social workers who have like lost the majority of their clientele, but ethically cannot feel like they are, they can stop working, but now they're not making $5,000 and they're not meet, meeting the eligibility requirements. I also, um, somebody contacted me who's um, an immigrant, a newcomer to Canada, who spent her first year here um, learning English and then she got a job, but again, like then two weeks later got laid off due to the pandemic, so isn't eligible for anything. Um, and this is a newcomer, like this is somebody we should welcome here and, and, and bring into our country and, and make their make help them succeed as much as we can. Um, so there was a lot of that um, students. So like it's it's been really awful to, to, to hear about this and, and see um, those things and think like we're in the middle of like a global emergency, like nothing like this has happened before. The last time we had a pandemic was 100 years ago in a much less globalized society than we are living in now. So why wouldn't we bring this in and why why can't we not take this as a very very hard lesson that you know we're not so immune to these natural disasters like it only took like a couple of weeks for this pandemic to take place and throw everybody off so it like it how easily the world can be dismantled why would we not have a measure like a basic income in place